What's up guys? What I've got for you today is three easy ways of destroying your data. I know, I know, I can hear you already. Oh, Snow Crash, why would I want to destroy my data? Well, there's a bunch of reasons, but I'm sure that a lot of you have got those naughty little secrets that you want to keep away from your mommy, girlfriend, wife, or I don't know, a federal law enforcement agency or something. So don't worry, I've got you covered. We've got our usual suspects, and for any of you who don't choose violence as an option, over here we've got software. And we'll get this one out of the way because nobody wants to see it. The software option, you can get on Google, do a search for it, wipe your hard drive, whatever. It's pretty straightforward. You run the software and it will write over the top of all your data from the start to the end of your hard drive and completely erase it. It's very effective and it is incredibly difficult to recover the data after this has been done, especially on devices made in the last five years. And one downside with this option, apart from it being not very interesting, is with, say, a one terabyte drive, it could take several hours to erase it. And when you're like me, and you've got a 30 pound box of hard drives to destroy, it's a non-option. So let's move on to physical destruction. So I've divided this into two categories, we've got the manual option and the semi-automatic option. On the manual side, we've got Little Ouncy, Mashy, and Sledgy. All right, first up, we've got the claw hammer. Next, the mash hammer. And let's see if we can cause any real damage with the sledgehammer. <laughs> All right, let's pop the lids off and have a look, but I'm gonna tell you straight up, I whack these things pretty hard and they are incredibly resilient, like they're really, really tough little buggers. And I'm not really holding out my hopes too much on the fact that we've done a lot of damage here. Okay, this one was hit by the claw hammer and straight up I can see that there's just virtually no damage at all to the platters. Uh, the casing hadn't deformed enough to even get close to the platters. And therefore, this is a bit of a failure because you haven't really destroyed much data at all, if any. Uh, you would have to belt the absolute crap out of this with that hammer over and over before you caused any real damage. This is the drive that was hit by the mash hammer. And once again, looking at this, it doesn't look like there's really much damage at all. Uh, the platters still can rotate. You can see in the casing here the actual marks from the head of the hammer and because it's spreading out the impact over a wider area, this is probably worse than the claw hammer. Yeah, this is a failure as well. Alright, this is the drive that was hit by the sledgehammer and I can see straight away that the whole drive has deformed a bit just because of the sheer amount of force that the sledgehammer puts on it. But this has caused one other problem for me that a couple of these screws I can't even get out uh, so I'm going to have to drill them out. Okay, now we're talking, we can see straight away that the platters are deformed, uh, all that impact from the sledgehammer coming down on it has actually deformed the platters. Yeah, so this is about the minimum sort of damage I'd want to do to a hard drive to ensure that your average person isn't able to read the data off it, but it's still not that effective. And to be honest, if you're swinging a sledgehammer over and over trying to destroy these drives, I'm telling you now, you're going to get pretty tired pretty quick. All right, let's move on to the semi-automatic option. Two of these nail guns are pneumatic, they use compressed air. They're rated at a maximum of about 90 or 100 PSI. We're gonna crank this up to about 110, 115, dial it up to 11. The other two guns are portable and they're gas-powered internal combustion. I'm not even going to bother with this guy. He shoots little 18 gauge nails and I don't even think they're going to penetrate the case of the hard drive given how strong they are. The nails I've chosen are all zinc coated and that should provide a little extra lubrication so that they can slip in and go through those platters. Okay, the first gun we're going to try is the finish nailer. It's firing 14 gauge brads. They're two by 50 millimeters. Okay, the first thing we can see is that nails are actually buckling, but they're still penetrating. Oh, okay, we got one full penetration there, but I'm pretty sure that's not where the platters are. Let's open it up and have a look. Oh, okay, all right, well, it's pretty obvious straight away. You can see the damage here. Those brads have come down. They've got sharp little ends, and it looks like 
Yeah, yeah. It looks like they've actually penetrated right through. This is only a single platter drive, so it's a bit of an easy task for it. Uh, but they haven't gone through the base. The base is some sort of cast alloy, and it's really tough, it looks like. Um, so, yeah, they've gone straight through that platter. That's a lot of damage. I mean, I'd pretty much say your data's destroyed. Big effort to get the data off this now. The spindle isn't even rotating. Without a platter, those brads can just make it through, but that's not good enough. All right, let's move on to something with a bit more gumption. This is a full-size framing nailer delivering a 3x75mm nail. Hopefully it's going to do a little better. Okay, all fixed. Let's keep going. So like before, we've got the nails buckling. Obviously, they're the ones hitting the platters. The ones that aren't are going straight through. This is looking pretty good. Let's get the lid off. Okay, so we've got a lot of damage there. Uh, this looks to be a two platter drive. Yep, there's quite a lot more metal here. Those platters are fairly thick. So we've got these nails going through at least two platters. I might try to get the platters out of this one to have a look. Okay, after a lot of stuffing around, I've got those platters out. So you can have a look at them here. Yeah, it's penetrated both of them straight through. That's a lot of damage. Nobody's getting the data off this, but we still don't have full penetration through the drive, which is what we're after. Okay, so I think it's time to move on to the pneumatic coil nailer. I think part of the problem here is long nails. So I'm gonna switch over to a hardened steel nail that's only 30 millimeters long, and it's designed to go into masonry, concrete, steel, anything. And I think we're on a winner here. Okay, now we're talking. Those have just gone straight through. And I have a feeling that this is only a single platter drive. So what I'm going to do is not bother with this one. I'm going to move on to a drive I know has more than one platter. But yeah, that's a definitely a success. <laughs> okay, this drive was definitely tougher, but we can still see full penetration there of the nails. We can see the inside of the spindle motor, and we've got these nails going all the way through. This is definitely good. This is what I'm after. And if we have a look over here, we can even see a bulge through the rear of the case, and that means the nail's gone all the way through, impacted the base, and that's okay with me. When I was shooting into it, there was a black dust coming out. That's a little bit troubling, so I'm going to pop the lid off here and have a look. I've got a little bit of an idea of what this is. I don't think it's toxic, but it probably contains ceramic material, so you shouldn't be breathing this in. Uh, I've got some special equipment, so I'm going to go and decontaminate this, bring it back and have a look. I've cleaned the drive up, and as you can see, it suffered a lot of damage. We saw that, obviously, with nails coming through the back side. Uh, you can see here that we've got full penetration through, I think it's a two-platter drive and uh, this thing's destroyed. It, it, you're not going to be getting anything off this. Now the cause of the dust was actually a head crash. This drive had suffered obviously a premature failure. You can see here where it's gouged out the inside track and what the drive has done is completely obliterated the read write heads and just turned them into dust and you can see where it's gouged out the inside here. Uh, so obviously this drive had failed and that's why it was removed from the server. It's very interesting. I haven't seen any complete head crashes on drives for, you know, a good 10 years. But there you go. It does happen, and it's happened here, and uh, it made a real mess of the inside. So there you go. Not something you see every day. So there we go, guys. I've got my solution, the coil nailer with those hardened steel nails. And you're probably wondering, why do I need to get full penetration? Well, it's very simple. It means I'm going to be able to lay these hard drives out go across them really quickly, bang a couple of nails into each one, and I can tell straight away that I've got that destruction I need without having to open them up. Well, there you have it, something a little bit different. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. This has been Snow Crash. I'll catch you later. Cheers.